we are going to generalize what we talked about uh, last time, uh, which will be all about generalizing and mathematically formalizing uh, graph neural networks. The idea for uh, today's uh, lecture is to talk about deep graph encoders and mathematically formalize them and also show you the design space, the idea, the diversity of what kind of design choices uh, do we have when we are making uh, these types of uh, decisions, uh, building these types of architectures, right? So what we want is we want to build a deep graph encoder that takes the graph uh, as the input and then through a series of nonlinear uh, transformations, uh, through a kind of this deep neural network, network comes up with a set of uh, predictions that can be at node level, can be at the level of subgraphs, pairs of nodes, um, and so on. And what we talked about last time is that the way we can define convolutional neural networks on top of graphs is to, to think about the underlying network as the computation graph, right? So the idea was when we discussed if I want to make a prediction uh, for a given uh, node in the network, let's say this red node i, then first I need to decide how to compose a computation graph um, based on the network neighborhood around this node. And then I can think of the, um, of the computation graph as the structure of the graph of the neural network where now messages, information, guessed, passed, uh, and aggregated from a neighbor to neighbor towards to the center node so that the center node can make a prediction. And we talked about how graph neural networks allow us to learn how to propagate and transform um, information across the edges of the underlying network to make a prediction and embedding uh, at a given node. So the intuition was that nodes aggregate information from their neighbors using neural networks. So we said that every node in the network gets to define its own multi-layer neural network uh, structure. This neural network structure depends on the neighbors and the uh, uh, graph structure around the node of interest. So for example, node B here takes information from two, no two other nodes, uh, A and C, because they are neighbors of it uh, in the network. And then of course the goal will be to learn uh, the transformations in, um, in, in, this, uh, in this neural network that, that will be parameterized and this way uh, our, our approach is going to work. So the intuition is that network neighborhood defines a computation graph and that every node defines a computation graph based on its uh, network neighborhood. So every node in the graph essentially can get its own neural network architecture because these are now different kind of neural networks, they have uh, different shapes. So now with this quick recap, let's talk about how do we generally define uh, graph neural networks and what are the components of them and how do we mathematically formalize uh, these components. So first in this general framework is that we have two uh, aspects. We have this notion of a message and we have a notion of aggregation. And different architectures like GCN, GraphSage, Graph Attention Networks, and so on and so forth, what they differ is how they define this notion of aggregation and how they define this notion uh, of a message. So that's the first important part is how do we define basically a single layer of a graph neural network, which composed basically by taking the messages uh, from the children, transforming them, and aggregating them. So that's the transformation and aggregation are the first two core um, operations. The second set of uh, operations is about how are we stacking together multiple layers in a graph neural network, right? So do we stack these layers sequentially? Do we add skip connections and so on? So that's the, that's the uh, uh, second part uh, of the equation is how do we add this layer uh, connectivity when I combine layer one uh, with layer two. Um, and then the, the last part that, uh, that is an important desi design decision is how do we create the computation graph, right? Do we say that the, the input graph equals the computation graph or do we do any kind of augmentation? Maybe we want to do some feature augmentation or we want to do some graph structure manipulation. Again, uh, in this lecture, I'm just kind of giving you an overview of the areas where I will be going to provide more detail and where we are going to go uh, deeper. So that's the, that's the, uh, the fourth area where uh, this becomes, um, where important decide, design decisions uh, have to be made. And then the last part is in terms of the learning, you know, what kind of, learn, uh, what kind of 
objective function, what kind of task are we going to use to learn the parameters of our graph neural network, right? So how do we train it? Do we train it in a supervised, unsupervised objective? Do we do it at the level of node prediction, edge prediction, or entire graph uh, level uh, prediction tasks? So these are essentially now gave you kind of an overview of the parts uh, of the desi design space uh, for neural ne graph neural network uh, architectures. So, uh, as I said, first is defining the layer, then it's defining connectivity between layers, it's about uh, 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 layer connectivity, it's about graph manipulation augmentation, feature augmentation, as well as uh, finally the learning objective. So these are the five uh, pieces we are going to talk about.